it's nice to be back. <laughs> it was fun traveling um, and seeing Australia and moving around and doing all those fun things. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's also nice to be back in the office and be in this setup and to be able to talk about perfumes and do all sorts of things. I'm just looking at my shirt, my shirt is good. All right, so um, I just want to show this. So it's so exciting. Uh, firstly, it, it's more the point, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel and uh, there is a number of people who have been here from the very beginning. Uh, a huge, massive thank you. Uh, 30,000, it is, I mean, I, I tried not to, I mean, there was, for those who remember that Mate talk where I'm like, what's going on? Why are people not subscribing? Um, and actually after that, Kevin came up to me, he's like, bro, relax, it's, it's all good. Just give it time. Everything takes time. I was just being impatient. I apologize. I apologize. I was being impatient. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I want to thank you. I want to thank you guys all for your support and I do appreciate the uh, the level of conversation or the engagement that's happening, uh, the things that are occurring, totally awesome, so, so exciting. Um, interestingly, so if you look at this, this was actually posted on the 21st of September, and at that stage it was 18 months and I hit 10,000, I was pretty excited. Actually, my thing's still open, let me turn, shut this down so we can just have a conversation. Um, and uh, believe it or not, it's taken 11 months to grow to 20 months. That is just, that's that's exciting, that's really cool. As I said before, I'm trying not to look at it, I'm trying to sort of uh, laugh at Kevin sort of uh, upside, what is it? it? He hit me up the side of the head or something. Yeah, anyway, so he basically clipped me behind the head and just said, just relax, brother, just do what you gotta do, but don't worry about the number. Um, so I've been trying not to look at it, but I have to say, in, in full disclosure, as I was getting closer to that number, I am sort of kept like, you know, where we are now, where are we now, sort of thing. So it's nice to have tipped over and uh, we're moving through. So again, everybody, thank you. Grazie mille, as I would say in, in, in Italian. Now, just as a heads up, okay, so what is Mate Talk for those who are new to this conversation? Really quickly, because if you are not new, you'd be like, I know what Mate Talk's about. Mate, yerba mate, Argentinian drink, something we do socially. It's, uh, it's something between friends. Mate in Australia is friends. So there's friends and then there's, you have your mates. So Mate Talk is a little bit of a play on that word. It's friends getting together, uh, talking, well, in this case here, about perfumes, but it can be about many different things. Some people may not like, I get sometimes people write, <laughs> I talk too much, I am so sorry. Um, yes, it's true, I do. Uh, well, Mate Talk, I mean, it's just me talking, so you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. But having said that, if you look at the channel, I'm trying to create multiple different touch points to, um, if you want something short, sharp, we recently started doing again, the two minute breakdowns, uh, more are being developed, more will come through. So there's two minute breakdowns if you just want something because it's concise in two minutes, it'll be right there. If you want more elaborate in the breakdown on the wheel and stuff like that, there's that content there. The other good news is, and just like, unlike a mate, so if you're having a conversation with a mate and he's about to tell you a story or she's about to tell you a story and you're like, I've heard this story already, you know, you have the option of fast forwarding. So I take a lot of time and it takes quite a bit of time, just heads up, to chapter mark all these things takes quite a bit of energy, but I do it for you. I'm doing it for you. So if you don't want to hear me, you know, if you don't want to hear about, because I'm going to about, talk about meetups and stuff like that. If you don't want to hear about, you want to go straight to the punchline, which is these incredible fragrances that I'm going to talk about shortly, then just jump straight to that and you can enjoy it. I've got a feeling this is going to be long. I'll give you a heads up. So everybody settle in. I always say, you know, grab yourself a drink. If you have a mate, pour yourself a nice, so I have a, so we're going to drink all this in this session. So uh, settle in, we're in for a bit of a ride today. The drink first, excuse me. We're in for a bit of a ride because I've got so many things I want to tell you guys. Honestly, I, there's, um, it, there's a lot of things that are uh, on the boil and there's a lot of things that have been in play for quite some time. So. Uh, since Exxon, to give you an idea, so that's like back in March, and big, now you know it's like a the, like like a pot that's uh, when you stir quince. So I make I love making membrillo, which is a quince, 
uh, like a quince jam. And sometimes those bubbles take a while to go and, and this is basically what's happening. So I, there's a few things that I wanna share with you guys and tell you about. But first of all, let's talk about in three weeks time, I will be in LA and I would love to do, so we're doing a meetup, uh, Neiman Marcus. I said it back to front last week and I just rolled like it, nothing was going on. But Neiman Marcus, yes, Neiman Marcus. We are meeting there at 11 o'clock on Saturday, the 9th of September. If you can make it across, I would love, with capital letters all the way through, love to see you guys there. Um, if anybody knows anyone, any of the sales staff or management at Neiman Marcus on Rodeo Drive, so it will be the one in Rodeo Drive. If anyone knows anybody there, can you send me that detail because I want to reach out to those guys and see if maybe, I mean, let's ask the question, could they do a discount for those who join us and uh, check out fragrances? I had a look at their collection. They have a pretty beautiful collection, quite vast. And uh, yeah, it would be cool. I mean, what if, what if they were able to do uh, some kind of discount for anybody who intends or thinks about buying something on the day? So if you have a possible contact of anyone there, I would love to know who that is. I would like to reach out to them um, and uh, yeah, just see if there's uh, something that can be done for you guys. We'll see what happens. But anyway, after that, so let's say from 11 till 12, 12.30, depending how many people are there, um, maybe I thought afterwards we can go get something to eat, uh, something casual, something low key. I don't want nothing fancy pants. Uh, I'm in the land of burgers and you have to remember I'm Australian. So I do like uh, being in the States and I love, <laughs> I love the food and the food portions. You guys, you, you know, you, uh, you're very generous. Uh, and so, yeah, so we'll maybe get, go get a burger, not from McDonald's, somewhere nice. Uh, go get a burger somewhere and we can just, just hang out for a little bit um all right so that's that what i'd love you to do at that meetup so those who do um come across if there's something that is unique so have a look at what neiman mark is actually are carrying if it's something that you are loving and they have it well let's spray it there but if by chance you've got something that's unique different something that flies really low under the radar i'd love you to bring it uh, so on the recent meetups that we did here in perth and brisbane some of the the, um, the subscribers who, who joined me on that actually brought perfumes, you know, and so had a chance to smell some really incredible f fragrances. Yannick, let me just say, if you're watching that fragrance that you had, I think it was from Royal, was it Royal Crown? No, it wasn't Royal Crown, it was, put in the comments, it was spectacular. Let me just say, that fragrance lasted forever. Beautiful, beautiful, incredible fragrance. So if you've got something unique, bring it along. I'd love to check it out which leads me to this. So, incredible brand from Paris or France. It's called, the, the brand is called Une Nuit Nomade. And essentially what they're doing is they have a collection of fragrances all very much celebrating the, the, the joy of travel. And it's about uh, different scents from different locations. This one here I discovered in Paris. It's called Jardin de Misfa. I wanted to say it correctly. Jardin de Misfa. Um, Misfa? Musfa. <laughs> oh my gosh, Misfa. I'm all good. Jardin de Misfa. Um, this was instant love. The moment I sprayed, I'm like, bada bing, this works. The the key, I think one of the, not I think, the key note in here is actually a date. And it's celebrating, so it has an oriental, Middle Eastern, but it's not spicy. Sometimes when you think those kind of, uh, that profile, you think that it has these very sort of oriental uh, spicy notes, not at all. It's very ambery, very warm you know, in its profile. It does have a, like a slight woodiness to it. It is a touch gourmand, just a touch. And I do believe it's that date. So there is a date note in there, which gives it an equal part caramel, fruit-like, wood-like component to it. This thing is glorious. So a big hitter in my family, my son was wearing it the other day. Um, I felt, I actually asked him how many sprays did you do because I felt like it was just like two sprays and it was projecting amazing. I sprayed three times we went out for dinner, myself and my wife, Sandra, we went out for dinner. We went to an Indian restaurant. So already you know that there's gonna be a lot of 
spicy smells in the air, that the, the food is very aromatic. In mid-conversation, a waiter did go past at the time with food. Mid-conversation, Sandra says to me, whoa, she goes, who is, is that you? Is that, is that your perfume? And of course, a little bit cocky, I have said, of course it's me, who else is it gonna be? She, she, she gives me the whatever, reached over. I always love spraying on my solar plex and my stomach. So I grabbed my shirt and gave it a little bit of a sort of, I fanned it so the, the, the profile could come out. She's like, oh my goodness, that is, it is you. I'm like, yeah. So Jardin de Nisfa is and in this restaurant, in amongst smells of food and people. It was very busy in there. And yet this baby here projects like a, like a boss, like a beast. Um, so what I want to do is that leads me because I'm that was a bit of a, a lead up into this So this is the uh, this is a beautiful discovery set that uh, Unuit Nomad have created there are ten fragrances in here Jardin de Misfa is in here. I love this by the way. These are the spray cards, but each card as you can see has its own design, you know, its own artwork and yada yada. Um, boom, boom, boom. I've been, I've been spraying these so they're all beautifully scented. Anyway, um, actually, another one that I have is sugar leather. Oh my gosh, wait till you smell that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Anyway, really, really good fragrances. Long story to tell you, I'm about to raffle this. Not this one, because this is mine. Oops, I dropped it. Uh, this is mine, but I will raffle that discovery set Two, look at these beautiful people right here. So these are the members on the channel. And I re regard these people as the gangsters. They've been members, this is six months and above, and you can see that their icon is red. And that's to denote that they've been a member of the channel for the last six months plus. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, I would like to invite you to become a member because next week I'm going to raffle another one of these. All right. So uh, today I'm going to raffle one off to the gangsters that are part of the uh, as members of the NFC channel. Uh, but next week, so if you join between now and next week, normally I just give you a heads up. I shoot these on Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. They go out Wednesday night. So between now and Wednesday, um, I think it's like four dollars to become a member. So it's very um, cost effective uh, and you'll have a chance to win this okay so and I'll send it anywhere in the world so that'll be uh, it'll be sent off anywhere that you might be but, but right now I'm going to let's have a look I'm gonna raffle this baby off today so these are all these look at these beautiful people look at these beautiful people these are all the the members that have been supporting the channel from very early and when I first started the membership close to a year now but I'm about to spin Good luck, gangsters. <laughs> Philip, my man. <laughs> Philip is from Slovenia. And I congratulate you, my friend. That's really cool. So, Philippe, send me your address. Oh, I'm going to start recording that so I can, because that'll be part of the thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did I stop? Yes, I think I did. Um, let me just check because I, I don't want nobody to be unhappy. No, it's right there. I can see. Yeah, cool. Um, Philippe, send me your address. Uh, DM me. I'm actually worrying consequently, but through Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Send me a DM. Uh, send me your address, I'll get this incredible gift set sent to you and you can enjoy that whole thing. Actually, there's a, a number of big hitting fragrances in there, give you a heads up. And there's a new one just recently launched called Love at First Sight. And the name epitomizes exactly what that fragrance is about. Really, really good. Next week, I'm going to do it again. And let me go one more. All those, um, the, so just no one, so nobody cries next week in case Philippe wins again. So I'm putting in all the, everybody who's a member, including all the gangsters, you guys will all go back into that and I'll raffle off again that, that thing. So good luck, maybe Philippe, you win twice. Who knows, who knows? All right, let me move on. Hello, okay, okay. So one thing that I do love is, and as you can tell, 
I, I love um, I love the unique. I love, and I've mentioned before. I did a uh, a, um, a uh, an episode on the Rhodes brand. So these guys here, Rhodes. Yep. Um, I did an episode on those guys, and I did mention in that episode that I do like I like being that guy that people uh, you know reach out to and go. You know, what would you recommend as a good Indian restaurant? Actually, let me just say just the point. Indian restaurant that we went to, so these are for Melbourneians. Indian restaurant we went to is nice, okay? It's an Indian fusion, blah, blah, blah. However, if you want real, real good Indian, then you gotta go to an area called Clayton. Now, have a look at this. Sandra and I had a chance to go to India. We have a very good friend of mine who's a Punjabi man. He invited us to his Hindu wedding. It was a seven day event. And I had the most amazing, as you can, I guess, imagine, Indian food that ever. I mean, it was, anyway. So this place here in Clayton is like, I'm back in, back in that Punjabi region, enjoying this incredible food. Uh, whereas the one that I went to with Sandra, it's, you know, hip and cool, bloody blah, blah, but food-wise, it doesn't compare to the one in Clayton and price-wise, I mean, <laughs> the one that we went to in the city, I, you know, short of having to give up, give up my shirt. Um, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a cheap meal. Whereas the one in Clayton, you can eat like a king and it'll cost you next to nothing anyway. So I like being that guy who I, you know, makes recommendations. I do enjoy, I do enjoy, you know, and, and not necessarily because is it vanity, it could be vanity. Um, but I, I, I do like, uh, I don't know, I like sharing things, you know, and, and actually whenever, I just had a friend of mine come over and I said, have you got any perfume on? No, okay, let me make some recommendations. I just, I, I just enjoy sharing things with others. One thing that I did discover, and have a look at these comments here. So as I start to share different fragrances, I guess the downside to this is that if these fragrances are not easily accessible or found, then um, I guess it's a little bit lost because I mean, I'm talking about something that I'm really enjoying and really loving, but not necessarily a you, well, it makes it hard for you to find this stuff. And I get a lot of questions whenever I'm posting on stuff. Let's say that if I do, well, when I do a, um, a review on Jardin de Misfa, that people go, well, where can I get this? You know, um, Javoy, by the way, Javoy in Paris. When you're in Paris, Javoy in Paris. Um, so, we, so how, how do I, and, and, and I've been thinking about this, how do I cross this bridge? How do I, uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm enjoying talking about, you know, things like roads, but how do I cross this bridge, help people cross this bridge with me when it comes to also you guys enjoying the fragrance too. So this is something that's been like in that, that quince bubbling up slowly and the first pop is coming forward with the good people from Luso Collective who are the, I guess the, 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 the key distributors for all things roads. Now they do deliver internationally, okay? They're offering, one of the questions that I got asked also is this one. And I love, I love the icon, they're like, you know, where is my, where is my affiliated code? I mean, I, I'm gonna try these, I wanna get a discount. Um, so with all that in mind, um, what I've done is I'm gonna develop a new series. At this moment, and I'm welcome anyone who can give me a better idea for a name, but right now I'm calling it the Perfume Discovery Series. Very simple. Very, you don't have to sort of go, I mm, wonder what that's about. So I'm gonna create a series of perfume discovery episodes and it will all be linked to a discovery pack that that company has, okay, or that that brand has, I should say. In this case, the first one we're gonna do is Rhodes. The first video on this discovery series will go out on Sunday the 17th of September. If you would like to purchase your discovery series I was discovery set now. You can do that. You go to the Luso Collective website. I'll put a link below. Use the code NFC10. You'll get 10% discount anywhere across the world. I mean, uh, yeah, anywhere across the world. Sorry, my brain stopped in. Um, and then on the 17th, this new series will come out. The intention of the series is that it will be like a. So for those who joined us on the Oligarch uh, live experience, where we uh, you know, experience these fragrances alongside people via Zoom. The difference now is going to be is that you'll watch this video from the comfort of your home. You can watch it whenever you want to. You can rewatch it again and again. 
you can bring out this pack, whatever you've purchased, and then you can join me in that conversation. You can join me as we go through it together. So the idea is that you can watch it just, to, so you don't have to do this. You can just watch the episode. It'll go live on the channel, excuse me, it goes. Um, it'll go live on the channel for anyone to enjoy, but there will be a call out in the start of that episode to say, if you wanna join me, if you wanna experience these fragrances alongside me, then you can go ahead and order the pack have that delivered and then loop back onto that video and watch it again. I wanna do this across, I'm already in conversation with a number of brands across the world, things that I've really fallen in love with, things that I wanna, you know, things like this. Uh, and the idea is that, yeah, th there will be some sort of uh, affiliate code so that you can get a discount on the pack. And then if you like whatever you, uh, any fragrances, you'll be able to use that same code again to actually purchase a bottle. Now, for those who do join me on this Rhodes, whoever, whoever buys a discovery set, um, we'll go into a draw. And the good people from Luso, again, thank you guys, have given the, they're donating two bottles free of charge as a way to, I guess, get this uh, concept moving forward. The two bottles that they're giving away uh, is anything that you choose. So you, it could be something from this collection here, that there are five fragrances in this pack. Uh, you can get something from me or you get something that maybe that you've sort of seen or want to experience. So two bottles will be given away. Promotion will start on the 17th of September and will end on the 4th of December. So that, so about two and a half months. So that way you get that prize and I'll do it over Mate Talk. We'll do a giveaway. Whoever bought a pack, Lusa will let me know and then we'll do a, a raffle. Bada bing. Any questions on that? Let me know. New concept. So, you know, there might be a few teething sort of issues there, but did I, did I explain that correctly? That's, that's the big question that I want to know. So did I explain that right? Because yeah, moving forward, I want to create a whole series, a whole playlist in this area. People can come in, come out and enjoy the video or enjoy it alongside me and enjoy the fragrances. I need a break. Sorry, small drink. How am I doing? Oof, 22 minutes. Mm. Let me show you this while I sort of take a breather. And we're about to talk perfumes in a second for those who have jumped to this moment in time. Um, so I'm gonna be in Cannes. So a lot of the, so just so you know, when I go to Exxon and now going to Cannes for the big trade show that's happening there, it's about connecting with brands, but it's about pitching these concepts. So this, as I said, this, this idea, has been sort of bubbling along since uh, Exxon's and just, I guess, trying to align with the right brands, brands that I love, that I want to be uh, uh, connected to, um, and also want to make sure that they have, you know, gift sets that can be used, you know, and that the, that, that, that the collection in the gift set is aligned with stuff that I'm enjoying, that I can talk about, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so a lot of work. So anyway, I'm gonna be in Cannes for the trade show and I'm gonna be doing a live international Mate talk. I'm looking at Saturday the 7th, I think it is. I'll, I'll put it here. Uh, and the idea is that I will do it at this moment in time at two o'clock. I'll give you more details. I'm just, the only reason I stopped is because I, it's this. So this is the new poster. Look at that. Pretty cool, yeah? So that's the old poster for the International Mata Talk behind me. That was for 2022. This is the 2023 poster. Um, I don't know if you can see too well, obviously there I'm holding Mate. And over here, I'm already speaking with a number of brands and the brand, the bottles will go here. So that'll, that'll be the last part that'll complete the image. Um, the intention is that yes, I do wanna create 10 of these posters, they will be signed. And uh, if you are interested in buying those, you can. All right, BDK. So a brand that um, actually, during the, the last couple of weeks, I've been traveling, oh, sorry, reaching across, can't see me, but here I am. And here's my trusted diary. So for those who have been watching the last uh, few episodes, while I was traveling, I was testing a number of fragrances and just seeing how they wore as I moved around, blah, blah, blah. And to that, I was testing a few of the BDKs or the new ones and two that have just come out of the gate that I just fell in love and you can see my responses during those last Mate talks. Um, I've gone ahead and bought. 
Well, they're in the collection now. So I'm gonna talk about them now. I wanna talk about BDK. I think BDK is one of those just rock star brands that um, we, there is talk about them, but not to the level that, that well, I don't hear enough, put it that way. I mean, I hear of some other brands um, that are okay, whereas this thing here is knocked out of the park. The, these, these fragrances, BDK, if you're not across the BDK fragrances, men or women, you, you need to go find these things. You, you need to go and hunt these, these fragrances down. They're just exceptional. French brand, David Benedict is the owner of the brand. Um, he, believe it or not, he actually, the, the whole concept was very much targeted to a female audience. So a lot of these fragrances were designed for women. But the reality is, and I've said this a million times, Fragrance has no gender, or smell has no gender. And so if you like a particular scent profile, I see, I didn't know this, Michael Marazano, when I met with him last week, at the, because I was talking about how much I love BDK, blah, blah, blah. And he said, yeah, it was meant to be a brand only, really targeted for women. But I'm like, how is that even possible? And these fragrances work uh, across the board. Some are a little bit more, and, I, and I'll talk about one in a second. Um, but overall, so gents, if you're not across this, this fragrance brand, you need to hunt them down. Really, really impressive. Ladies, it was, according to Michael, designed for you, for you ladies. So uh, it means that every single one of these is going to be a showstopper for you girls. Okay, let me begin. Having said that though, I'm at 26 minutes and you know what happens at 27? The whole thing stops on me. So, welcome back. Here we go. All right. I've broken this up into, into three categories, all right? I always joke, it would be wonderful to have a wheelbarrow full of cash that you can just wheel into your favorite boutique and say, <laughs> garçon, <laughs> one of everything, please. Um, or uh, mademoiselle, whichever is present. Uh, but the reality is that, yeah, you've got a budget. I mean, I know that's, that's my reality. Uh, so in, with that in mind, I've broken up into three categories. Must-haves, so if you're new to BDK, or you may have some of these others, you need to have the must-haves. I'm sorry, these are the foundational in the, in the collection. These are important. You, you just have to have them. They're just so incredibly divine and beautiful. 99.9% .9 of people absolutely adore this, uh, these, these fragrances here. Then the next one is necessaries. And uh, necessaries are, yep, they're pretty exceptional. Uh, I mean, I would, I would say that you also should have these kind of must-haves. And the last two will be, or the last, um, the last category will be hidden gems. I'm gonna give you two in each of these categories so you can then bounce around. If you've got one, then maybe you get the others. Here we go. First one, must-have. I'm gonna start with the ladies, and that is Passe Soir. No surprises here, by the way. Um, for those who have been following the channel, you know I keep talking about Passe Soir. This is glorious when Sandra wears this, and it's an all year round fragrance. In summer, Passe Soir is extraordinary. In winter, Passe Soir is phenomenal. Passe Soir is one of those fragrances that transcends, I mean, uh, uh, a 20 year old uh, woman could wear this, a, uh, a, a Anna, I'm, talk, I'm thinking of you right now. Anna's butt next to me going, careful what you're gonna say next. Anna told me off, but anyway, that's, yeah. Um, anybody could wear this. No matter where you are and your uh, existence here on this great planet, anybody can wear this. And it works across the board. I find that this is the, the one, so whenever uh, uh, the friends of mine married, yada yada, who say, I wanna buy a beautiful fragrance for my wife. I, without even thinking, you know, pas uh, It has always worked, it has always worked. I told the story, I'm not gonna tell it again, because otherwise you're gonna fast forward on me. Um, how I recommended, and it was knocked out of the park, as in the success this fragrance has. Why does it work so well? There is a quince note in there, which is incredible. That quince note gives it its equal part sweetness, gourmand component, but not gourmand. Uh, the orange blossom mixed in with that jasmine, and the woods in the base, this, there are some soft, ambery woods that are there. It just makes it work. So this works, as I mentioned earlier, this works as an incredible summer fragrance. It just is glorious. It works as an incredible winter fragrance. So this is an all year round, and it's just, it's just divine, okay? I, 
I wouldn't wear it as a man. Um, I, I think the florals are a little bit too female leaning for, for my, and plus I think, not, not I think, plus Sandra, this is her fragrance. She, when she wears this, just, just, I don't know, angels are singing around me. It's just such a glorious fragrance. Boys or girls, all right? So this started off being my fragrance. I still wear it. This is Tobacco Rose, okay? So I bought this for myself. Love wearing this. Sandra then took it from me. <laughs> I was gonna, I'm trying to think, what's a nice way of saying that? She stole it. No, she, she started wearing it and just fell in love. I would smell Tobacco Rose everywhere during our winter. It's a glorious winter fragrance. I don't know so much if it works as well in warmer weather. I, I feel like it does have very ambery tones. The king or the, the, the glorious note in here is that rose, but it's not overtly rose-like. So a man can wear this, even if you are totally, totally uncomfortable with any florals in your fragrance, you could still wear tobacco rose successfully because it has this combination of plum, chocolate, and I think there is patchouli, I'll put it here. But there are some wood notes in here that actually give this fragrance this, this wonderful, like, it, it, I was, it, it, it completes the fragrance. It doesn't, sometimes some fragrances uh, accentuates a particular note, like uh, it may start with, you know, citrus and blah, 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 but eventually the note begins to emerge and come forward. Whereas here, yes, the rose is definitely a key player here, but the rose, it's almost like it has this crown around of other notes that are supporting it. So if you want to stop and smell, you go, yep, I can detect that beautiful rose that's there. But if you allow that thing, just to, the fragrance just to move around you, there are moments that you can pick up that plum note, among moments that you can pick up that chocolatey gourmand note, that are the moments you can pick it up the woods. So it has this beautiful roundness to it you know it, it it's just glorious it's just a just a just a beautiful scent again another one transcends age transcends uh whether you're a man or a woman it's just it works so i continue to use this i do enjoy it wearing for myself even though sandra has really you know trying to um wrestle me and keep it for herself having said that though there is one there that's a beautiful companion so if you do want like your husband wife or a man or woman uh, and you would like the, you know, the woman could wear the rose. I'll share something that the man could wear as a beautiful companion. By the way, the perfumer to this is Julien Raskinet. Raskinet. Julien Raskinet. Um, I just think Julien is just incredible perfumer. I, I love, I, 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 feel, I feel like anything he touches, beep, bop, boop. Um, it's just, it's just going to be amazing. Let me move on. So those you have to have. Those are the must-haves. Let me move to necessary. And these two are recent additions. These two I was actually testing. This notebook here has the, although I'm spelling the letter, which is nice. Let's just keep focused. Um, I was gonna tell you about the, the leather where this is from, but it's another a story for another day. Um, Villa Neroli. So this is a necessary. Whilst I was doing the meetups in Perth and Brisbane, I actually recommended, so when people say, well, what, you know, what would be a good one? I recommended everyone Villa Neroli and got a lot of oohs and ahs. The one person who really resonated, it's in the video that I did in Brisbane, is a gentleman by the name of Andrea. And he, I got a message afterwards saying, just cannot stop thinking about this fragrance, cannot stop smelling his arm, etc., etc. So Villa Neroli, incredible um, if you love see i'm a big fan of citrus but this is now a beautiful citrus blended with this orange blossom nectar like quality to it i'm gonna hang up on them Beep, pop. they can call back you guys are more important <laughs> this is probably like a massive deal that was just about to go down anyway um villaneroli so it has this orange and the key, the, the, the key to this is this orange blossom it's from Tunisia Tunisia I think so I'll put it here it's incredible um, and I think some of the key components here it does have like a nectar honey like quality to it and it's really it's that vanilla that's just playing in there too when it dries down it does go into a musk but a very uh, sort of a, a floral musk a very sort of light musk 
and it still has or retains that orange blossom component to it. Villaneroli, I love all things citrus, I love all things orange blossom, but for me, by far, this thing is a killer. I was wearing it, I had a sample of it, I, I, I used the whole thing, by the way, so I, I, I had to buy a bottle, or I had to get the, the bottle. Um, big recommendation, if you like, and I think for me, I was wearing it, it was predominantly warm, yeah, so it's definitely a warmer weather sort of fragrance. This, as a going out, just glorious as an evening fragrance, as a summer night fragrance, as a summery day fragrance, spring, just too much. The next one is, now everybody knows Gris Chanel. So I would put forward to you, if you don't have Gris Chanel, jump straight into, if you do have Gris Chanel, I would still recommend you jump into this one. And that's the Gris Chanel Extrait. Really? Uh, you know, I feel like for those who've seen the movie Spinal Tap, Literally, this one's been turned to 11. Um, everything just seems to come up one notch more. Uh, everything feels a lot more rounded, a lot more it's similar to this lid, a lot more contoured, a lot, a lot more softness. Uh, the other thing that I love about, whereas Gris Chanel has this, um, this, uh, these components, because uh, I, I, sm I smell, they, they're different. I put them side by side. I put them side by side. They're two different fragrances, and I'm and I guess for this, I was trying to see what is the what. How am I de de defining the two? I f for some reason, I feel that well, okay. So where uh, Gris Chanel has, it's it's the complete package. So you're smelling the fragrance. So it's the Gris Chanel fragrance. There are some components that you're detecting, but it's really that that scent profile. I almost feel that. And it sounds ridiculous in saying it. I almost feel like each component in the fragrance emerges at different times and then sort of retracts back and emerges forward because there are moments where I feel that the green iris note and the black tea begins to emerge and I get that slight greenness and that powderiness from the iris. But then it sort of, it, it draws itself back and all of a sudden I'm getting that slight cardin, especially on the opening, that cardin I feel like is, I almost feel like I can touch it. And then, and then that retracts backwards. And then other moments that other components begin to also emerge and begin to come forward. The fig note, that fig note is just, anyway. Gris Chanel Extrait, you need to try this out. This is a necessary, I really feel. Uh, sometimes these fragrances sort of come out a little bit, and I'm gonna say this with love in my heart, like flankers, you know, if you like this one, you probably get that one. This is a new fragrance, okay? So yes, it has a similar name, and yes, it has been amped up. I believe the oils have definitely been amped up, but I really feel that this fragrance has this beautiful, the way it emerges at different parts, really exceptional. And uh, yeah, this is new also to the collection, but I have loved wearing it. I need a small break. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on what I've said so far. Agree, disagree? Maybe you disagree. Maybe you don't even know. The original Gris Chanel is the best. That's true. All right, let me move on. So the last two, in my opinion, are hidden gems. The first one is also by Julien Raskinet. Raskinet. <laughs> Before the camera starts rolling, I'm like, yeah, I'm just saying these things, beep, bop, boop. Camera starts rolling, I get super. Raskinet, 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 Julien Raskinet. I, I know the name, oh, goodness me, anyway. So Julien Raskinet, Raskinet is the, creation, is the creator of this. This is Amber Safrano. Now, Julien also created Tobacco Rose, all right? So this is where this companionship can exist. Uh, for a man who might not, and as I said, look, if you're, even if you're uncomfortable with rose, you can still wear this, but a woman could wear this or the, as a, as a um, husband, wife, or a, a companions, uh, the woman could wear this, the man could wear this. What I love about this one here, it does have a very soft suede note provided by the saffron. So saffron does create slightly, um, it's quite an exquisite, soft suede scent profile that it has. It does have a sweetness in there. Um, I know that fragrances like Torino 22 does have that saffron in that early note, 
it does give it that ambery sweet component to it. It's not so leathery in um, uh, 22, whereas here that leather component does move, sort of already come out. It does have this glorious black pepper. I mean, on it, it's just, I, I don't know how the, the BDK, but these notes, you can, I mean, you can detect these notes. They're so uh, prevalent as they come through. As the fragrance begins to emerge, there is also a birch tar in the base, and that birch tar, it, it helps it retain that leather-like component to the fragrance. Beautifully ambery, a little bit more masculine leaning now, not overtly, so a woman can very, very, very easily wear this. But again, as I said, as it companions together, the tobacco rose, amber safrana, glorious. Now, the reason why, so this was another one that I was testing while I was away. I was wearing it in an area called Canberra here in Australia. It is very cold in Canberra, regardless, in the middle of summer, it's still cold. <laughs> All the Canberrans are like, how dare you? Uh, but it is, it's a, it's a, it's a cool place. Um, and I walked into the hotel, for those who didn't see the month ago, walked into the hotel, the gentleman that I had been talking to, who uh, was uh, the concierge of the hotel, started chatting in, like, as we started chatting, he said, your fragrance is amazing. I can smell, and mind you, I was with jackets and that's, uh, was I wearing a scarf? No, but I had two layers of, of clothing, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he could detect this particular fragrance here. So really impressive, very um, beautiful as an ambery fragrance, great for winter. So as a going into cooler weather, um, I think it could work well on a summery night. Look, truth is, if you're gonna go out on a summery night, then Villa Neroli is the one that you wanna be wearing, glorious. Or, you could be wearing this one. Crème de Cuir. Did I say that right? We'll find out. Um, so, cream of leather, essentially. This is the most, okay, so this is a real hidden gem. I mentioned that Amber Safrano is a bit of a hidden gem, but Crème de Cuir is 100% a hidden gem. Not many people talk about this, I think this is probably one of the most unique leather fragrances out there. Meaning that when you first spray, I know I did this, you're thinking leather, where? Because it starts with this vibrant citrus pineapple combination. And honestly, you're thinking, where is this going to go from here? Not even a slight detection of a suede note or a anything note, okay? All of a sudden, this then begins to dry down, emerge, and start doing different things. And before you know it, you're wearing the most creamiest leather fragrance you have ever experienced. Sandra, when I wear this, is constantly complimenting me. I was, I was wearing it recently, and I mean, another scenario where, you know, what are you wearing? I'm like, it's the same fragrance, baby. <laughs> wearing the same fragrance, creme de cuir. So it, and, and this is from, so Sandra's not a big leather fan. So when I'm wearing a, like a bit more leather, I mean, there's one which I adore, which is the Widian um, uh, London. It's, yeah, London, London. Um, she, she, she's okay with it. Whereas this one here, no problems at all. Loves this fragrance. It's not overtly leather. So if you like your really punchy leather in your face, then this is not the one. But it does have a leather note to it, where it, as I mentioned, where it starts, where it ends up, two different places. If you want a fragrance that will excite you because of its evolution, because of it, the way it's moving, Crème de Cuir is the one for you. Boom. I am done. That was a long Mate talk. But it's good to be back in this chair. I've got this itching nose. It will not stop. Anyway. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I will look forward to your comments and um, let me know what you think about these BDKs, any others that you have discovered. And mind you, there's a lot more. There's, there's, I, I, there's others that I, that I was sort of debating, should I bring this in, not bring this in. Um, I recently smelled, by the way, Passe Soie Extrait, bada boom, baby, wait, wait till you experience that. That quince note is a little bit more involved in there. Um, it's still, in my opinion, a very female-leaning fragrance. I only tested it very, just as a small test, so I haven't had a full chance to wear it. But the uh, Passe as a as a as a as a whole, as a as a fragrance, just exceptional. It's a must-have. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys all on the next episode.